Hello, America. Since the beginning of time, women have looked at men and they've asked themselves, I wonder what's going on inside his head. What a day I'm going to show you with an in-depth presentation of the anatomy of the male brain. Now, as you can see, there's two male brains. This male brain is located in the skull, and this brain is located in the genitalia region. Now, we'll get to this one later. Now, as you can see at the front of the male brain is an area called man vision. This area gives a man the ability to see a deer 800 yards away in the middle of a cornfield, but it gives him the inability to see a bottle of ketchup on the second shelf of the refrigerator, even after the man's spouse has told him the location of the ketchup bottle multiple times. Now, you can see here this very small, almost non-existent area of the male brain is called the toilet aiming center. Now, ladies, a lot of y'all think that us men just walk in, we pull our britches down, and we gyrate our hips and try to pee everywhere. But that ain't the case. See, the fact is we have a very small toilet aiming center. And that is because for millions of years, men peed outside freely, peeing wherever we wanted to. Then over the last 200 years, we were asked to pee into an area the size of a football. That is why the toilet aiming center is so small. Now... The bear gland can also affect the toilet aiming center. You see, as the bear gland gets larger, the toilet aiming center gets way inaccurate. That is why a lot of drunk dudes pee all over the place. This is the lame excuses gland. Ladies, if you've ever had a fella break up with you and him say, well, I just love you so much that I'm scared you might break my heart, so I'm going to break up with you. That came from the lame excuses gland. As you can see here, this is the remote control and TV center. This is responsible for men being able to go into any establishment and sniff out a remote control in a TV like a bloodhound. This area is also the reason why men like to watch what they want to watch and they don't care about what anybody else wants to watch. Now as you can see here, this is the outside chores region and the inside chores region. The outside chores region is much larger. That is why men like to cut the grass. They like to rake and they like to weed eat. And the inside chores region is much smaller. That's why men are almost incapable of folding towels, washing dishes, and ironing clothes. Now this here is the ball sports region. This region is responsible for collecting all sports data. Favorite players, favorite teams, favorite coaches, etc. Now this region gets so large that other parts of the brain have to shrink. Like the anniversaries and birthdays gland. That's why a lot of men can tell you who won the 1996 National Football Championship, but they can't tell you their wedding anniversary. Now this here is the measurement center of the male brain. The measurement center is very accurate and it can tell exactly what size nut, bolt, sprocket, or any other tool is needed for a job. But the measurement center becomes very inaccurate when men are measuring body parts below the waist. Now this here is the power tools and heavy equipment gland. Now men will notice as they get older, this gland will get larger. That's why their urge to go to Home Depot and Lowe's becomes greater and greater as they age. Now this here's the HFTG gland, the hunting, fishing, trucks, and guns gland. You see, when a lot of men get together, this gland swells. And that's when they talk about who killed the biggest buck, who caught the biggest fish, who's got the best truck, and who's got the most guns. Now at the very back of the brain, you will see the listening gland. Now, the listening gland soaks up all information and it sends it out to other regions of the brain. But for whatever reason, the listening gland completely shuts down when a man's wife is telling him something she thinks is really important. Now, I know a lot of y'all are wondering, well, where's the sex region at in the male brain? Well, let me direct you down here to the second male brain, which is located down at the male's crotch. Now... This male brain can be smaller in some men and larger in some men. But no matter the size, the second male brain controls the first male brain. See, this here is the message center. This area receives all messages from the second brain. And it don't matter what's going on up here in this brain. If this little brain here decides, hey, I want to have sex, it shoots a message up to the big brain. And all of this right here, this whole region becomes the sex region. And I will say that this gland here, the beer gland, can have a very large effect on the second male brain. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed this presentation of the anatomy of the male brains. God bless y'all. 
I love you.